This is how The Price is Right is made. The Price is Right premiered on CBS on September 4th, 1972. Back then, the wheel didn't exist, only three contestants played, and each episode was only 30 minutes. In 1975, the wheel was introduced and episodes were twice as long. The 1975 version is still used today. Drew Carey took over for Bob Barker as the show's host in 2007. I realized what an institution the show is and how long it's been on the air. And Bob Barker himself gave me the best advice. Bob said the best advice is to try not to copy him. And I couldn't come out trying to be like Bob Barker. I had to be me. So I did. I came out and I tried to be me. So I wasn't trying to mimic Bob Barker or ape Bob Barker. I, I was just trying to be myself and not screw it up. It took me a couple of years to to think of it as my show instead of a show that somebody else had that I was kind of like caretaking or something. Now I feel like it's my show totally. I always know it's gonna be a room full of excited people jumping around and it's exciting for me. I come in about, you know, between 11.15 and 11.30 and put on some music in my dressing room, sometimes not, maybe I put on the TV or whatever and sometimes I'm just quiet and I get dressed and they want me in the makeup chair at 11.45, sometimes I'm there at 11.50. Drew is naturally handsome, and you really need makeup. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Makeup's really quick, as you saw, it takes like three minutes, and I'm, then I just sit there and they start the show and I walk on stage. And then I, I have my lunch, and then I do the same thing, and then I go home. It's great. I work about 20 hours a week. Drew's right-hand man, George Gray, started as the show's announcer in 2011. Drew, it's gonna be Kathy Mana. come on down! It's such a family, it's, it's amazing to be here. Every day is great. People say, are you having fun? It's, you know, I mean, you make it people's dream come true, so of course. Three other guys in history have had the job permanently, besides me, and two of them passed away with the job. I mean, that's, nobody wants to leave. I'm so lucky to have this iconic gig. To appear on the show, all audience members have to do is show up and wait in line. Their producer, Stan, interviews around 300 candidates to choose who gets to come on down. Per season, I interview about 53,000 people, which is horrifying when you think about it. It's a lot of people, I know. Um, essentially, what I'm looking for is somebody who, uh, anybody who has the energy and, uh, and, and can maintain their energy. A lot of people start off really great, but if you can't maintain it, you'll get the people to go, yeah, I'm really excited to be here, I'm from Iowa, and it's like, I'm gonna count in wrong. And you just see them like plummeting because everybody starts off great because they love the show and they're excited initially. But if you can match my energy and exceed it and maintain it, you have a really good chance of, of being on the show. But being chosen by Stan is only half the battle. You have to make it past contestants row to play a game on stage with Drew. The, when we're taping the show, I mean, this goes for Drew, George, and the models. They are not allowed to help contestants or tip any them in any way because a lot of times the contestants will say like, oh, tell me, yeah, what do you think, Drew? What do you think to the models? And they can't give anything away because they do, the, the models, because they're in rehearsal, they do know the answers to a lot of stuff. For one thing, I grew up without any money. So I really empathize with people when they win and how happy they are to win anything. And just to be on the show, I'm like, yeah, I get it. You know, 500 bucks isn't a lot of money for a game show, but it's a lot of money for people. You know, it's a, that could make your week. You know, it's not like a life-changing amount, but that's like extra money, maybe get to pay a bill. If there's a couple games where I'm like, oh, this is a tough game to win, and I worry about people playing it, because I, I know how hard it is and how, what, that the odds are kind of against them, because we have some high percentage win games and some low percentage win games. Like, uh, that's too much that we've played today, that's a low percentage win game. That's a hard game to win. We have about 20 people that work in our prize department. They're constantly researching what the, the, the latest trends are in fashion, um, furniture, uh, travel destinations, experiences, what people want, what do people want today. We're, the, the days of the, the grandfather clocks are gone. So we're now looking for what people want today and what's exciting and, and gonna really um, get viewers at home to, to want these prizes. We have a huge warehouse where we store items that we're constantly getting new stuff. Once a prize is won on the show, the contestant has to wait till the show airs, and once the show airs, their prize is delivered within 90 days. If I could change come on down to anything I want, what would I make it? Don't pee your pants, it's time to come on down. <laughs> That's 
because that's what happens. <laughs> or don't black out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't black out. <laughs> it's time to come on down. Yeah, I think a little bit of reality would be good.